Alright guys, we got this in here. Um, come over, we're going to do some tune-ups today. We're just kind of talking. And one of the first arguments after he come in the garage, he's looking at, you know, like I got 31 cc, 28, 25, you know, I got steel, red max, I have echo. And he was talking about his 225. Do you really need a 31 cc was kind of our argument as we're talking. So let's hear your opinion. Um, so I work, I have my own lawn business. I just started about three years ago and I also work at a golf course. So let's talk real quick about the steel. Um, well, yeah, let's talk about the steel real quick. For, for heavy brush for like every other week or every like big lawn that you're going through, yes, you need the big power, but for everyday use of like small lawns or just like little granny yards, the 225, 21.2 cc's is the route to go, I think personally. But to have this on your trailer, yes, personally, you should have a bigger engine on your trailer just in case if you had that overgrown lawn or if something were to happen or just something like that. I had to agree with it, you know, even though we're arguing back and forth because I have a lot more of the bigger rewackers um, and I tend to go to a few of these because of price. But I just bought a few of these smaller units, um, two of them to be exact, because I, I don't feel that for the lawns you're doing every single week and your really nice lawns, 21cc is, is way enough power to slightly groom. I mean, it's not a brush cutter. If you want a brush cutter, you buy a brush cutter. But that's the argument. So then we started talking about the Echo 2620 Edger. And uh, he had some feedback because he had the you had the 225, correct? Yes. So tell us the difference. So the 20, uh, 225, the PE 225 is a 21.2 cc engine, and the um, it's a good one. It has a little little bit of a weak head, low power head, and then I just upgraded to the 2620, and uh, it's a 25.4 cc engine, and I love it personally. It, does a fantastic edge. I think it does a better edge than a straight shaft, but it's all about personality. Like, if you like curved shaft, you like. If you like straight shaft, personally, I'm used to cur my curved shaft. But for what it does for me, it does the. Uh, it's a good product and it come. It does the job perfect for me. And everyday use, that's my go-to every day. I'm about to upgrade, like, tune up my 225, completely new, new. Uh, blade, tune up the whole thing, and then sell it for 150 bucks. So if you're interested in Macomb County or Oxford, if anybody in that area, if anybody in our area wants an edger, I'll help you out for 150 bucks, it's yours. You heard that, so he's, he's definitely wants to upgrade. Now I gotta agree with her, is when we go to the smaller, I started my business with a uh, 225, 12 years ago. So I now have the steel, um, because when I went, I didn't want the curve shaft and Echo didn't have one because I like to talk more about their new engines they're coming out with a few of them or they have come out excuse me is I use the steel because it's 31 cc FC 110 model um, I like the straight shaft so I can see my line and run with it um, the curve shaft you don't get hit um, the straight shaft just reminds me more of a wee whacker because a lot of times I'll just use the re whacker if it's one of those things where I wee whack and I edge every single week but for the lawns that don't get edged once a month or every three or four months I just hit them with an edger and a yeah. straight shaft but yep. then your legs you know get um, pelted and get yeah rocks and everything is getting on your legs where the curve shaft is the way to go it really is mm -hmm. and you can still tilt it and not hurt yourself it's about safety too as well so let's go on and uh, we're going to talk more in the shop and get back with you guys about what else we're kind of discussing and arguing around here. And it's not really an argument, but our debates. Stay tuned. Guys, we were sitting here and we we're talking about the difference when, you know, he bought an item from Home Depot. Home Depot and the dealer. What's the difference? They say it's the same, but well, he has other points to bring up about the advantages of getting from the dealer and what they did with the casing. Same year, um, trimmers, just Home Depot and dealer. So what, what is it you brought up to me? So, let me go to the phone. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. You can see the. So camera. if you look at, I don't want to do this correctly, but if you look at the spark plug, it's a different size boot. If you look at that boot's different. If you look at, what else did I point out here? If you look at the front of the casing, right there, you look at Echo SRM225, Echo SRM225. Like that's actually like a sticker, perfectly on there. That's perfectly sticker. That's a sticker. But you just look at all these differences of the two trimmers and the bolts. See his bolt up here is a little different than here. This one, if you can see here, has the bolt here and back here, nothing up top. It's not a whole lot. Um, the handles are pretty much the same, but there is a few um, differences. You also said something about the back here. So the back here, like this is like this is like the same thing. But like the thing that I noticed at the newer ones at Home Depot on the Echo SRM225, it actually says SRM225, but now it doesn't. So, like, why? Why does it? Why are the differences from Home Depot to the dealer? Why is the spark plug boot smaller from Home Depot, bigger at the dealer? Like, it's a it's a it's a residential weed whip, and personally, I like them. And we already had that discussion, and it's all about personality and like dealer support and then and like getting to, when you're ready for a tune-up that's where it gets into the biggest category let's of let's get into a real category and i brought this up in another video and, and, and he just reminded me you can buy some of echo's products at home depot some at dealers they have residential commercials they have all the models you can need for whatever you want but they also have this easy convenient tune-up kit you look on the back it's got your model number everything right here this is the smartest thing i've ever seen because for me i have a lot of steel i have red max i have some echo it, it, it's crazy we got spark, spark plug. plug air filter and a fuel filter but why would you have to pay a difference price for a spark plug a fuel filter and an air filter all in one thing but yet they're not even the same fuel filters like you know, Echo and Red Max do. I mean, these are totally not even the same different size. Where does it really matter? Yeah. I mean, it, it's a guessing game to, you need this, when really do you need to buy the separate? Yeah. When you can just buy, like, a yeah. disc set. Yeah, if you just buy a tune-up kit and you're ready to go. But you have to buy all these separate products for your for your steel, for your Red Max. But I know Shinaiwa does that, because Echo and Shinaiwa are on the same side. But why would you have to pay Total different price for a spark plug, fuel filter, and an air filter. But when you go to Home Depot, you're ready to go. I mean, why can't I, I agree? Why can't all the companies just give you one box? Oh, well, you might not need a spark plug or many filter. If you're doing a tune-up kit, you can still buy these individually, but it's so much easier just to do everything at once. Yep. Why? Yeah. Why guess what you did last time or what you didn't? Right? Yeah. yeah. Just be done with it. Yeah. So. A lot of different things he's bringing up that I've touched on some videos. Um, great points. What about the Black Diamond versus the Oregon? Okay, so like the Black Diamond, personally, it, it cuts fantastic, but like for an everyday use, it's perfect. But for heavy brush, it doesn't do the job. For Oregon, the clear trimmer line point, 9.5, or whatever people would like to use, that's heavy duty stuff. Personally, like on all my lawns, I use all my black diamond. I have two uh, two pounds of gold. I got one that I bought off Amazon, and then another one from uh, Lawn Medic, Lawn Men from uh, where's he? From? I forget what part of Michigan he's from. Oh, from Port Huron. He bought me that one, or he gave me his. But like you just look at all that, like everyday use black diamond. But for everyday use, Oregon, yeah, it's good stuff. But it's all about personality. What do you like? What's good for you? What helps you? What helps for your business? See, I have another point. You know, I use the Black Diamond probably 75% of the time, and then I like the Red Max Twist. It was the first trimmer line, and I, and I love it. So next points while we're in here and when we're talking was we were discussing the whole Echo, Shandao, Steel, Red Max. Dealer support is the most important. Um, and, and again, this video is just to bring up points. And I brought this up to Echo, and you know, he kind of agreed with me. This is hard because 
Uh, tell them about your dealer support with Echo and the guide moving and uh, where can you get your Echo products? And you live an hour away from me. Yes. So I bought this Echo from Home Depot when I first started my business. I'm like, okay, I did this kind of trimmer. Then I need another one for backup. So I went right to Home Depot. Then I went to, and then I wanted to upgrade my edger. The, the first edger was from Home Depot. I'm like, this edger's going to crap. It's not laying the edge that I like. So I went to a lawn dealership in Royal Oak. And I was looking and the guy goes, well, what kind of stuff do you run? I'm like, I run Echo. He goes, well, the, the, uh, the uh, 2620 edger is a great edger. It's got plenty of power. It lays down the edge. And personally, when I bought that, it laid the nicest edge that I've ever seen by an edger. But it's all about dealer support because how far can a dealer go? He used to be with All Echo, and then he moved locations, and now he's with Steel. So there you go, you heard it. He had Echo, he had great dealer support, and then boom, it's gone. The same issue, and I even shot a video, and again, this is not to bash any dealers or anything, but I like to shop at Weingarts because they generally have every single part that I want in stock. Well, I can't find a place to buy Echoes to support, you know, Echo has sent me a few items. You go in there and you say Echo, the sales guy walks away or um, they don't have the item in stock. They don't carry a lot of Echo products and the ones they do carry to me are more residential Are more residential, and they're not for to be beat up every day. It's yes. to, to get the cheaper model out there. Um, so I think it, dealer support is the main thing and it's very hard to get that with Echo. Where in the south I hear Steel and Echo are like number one and you guys don't even have Red Max. Yeah. You walk in my dealer and you say Red Max and they'll give you anything they oh, want. Oh yeah, they, they spike up like it's the circus. Yeah. And you want a you Corvette? Go. No, I mean, I've already met Red Max, but like... Yeah, it's uh, they treat you good and if you buy Red Max or Steel, you get a six pack of oil for free. You get a speed feed for free. I mean, they really juice you good. But the thing about, you up. But Shindai, like the thing about Echo, you get a speed feed. Right. If you buy an Echo, you don't have to argue. Hey, can I get a speed feed on that? But you are. Um, you get a steal. You have to. You have to get one included. Red Max. You have to get one included. Mm -hmm. Shindai one Echo are in the same team. My Shindai will come with a speed okay, feed. Okay, so yours did that. Um, the one I bought last yes. week. So, but that's the thing is when I got the steel also last week, mm -hmm. I said, hey, I want a speed feed on that. And he, oh no, we we can't do that every time, Dell. And I said, well, then I don't want all three of those units because I had bought a few of them that yeah. day. So, okay, okay, Dad, we'll put on. Again, dealer support, they lost a little bit of money on the speed feed, but it's like, if you don't, like, personally, I know a lot of people that like the speed feed, like, personally, working at the golf course, I make sure when I have to go weed whip, I'm grabbing a, a steel FS91 with a speed feed, that way I don't argue with people and line it up, because I hate the old schools where it's da 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 da, -da. oh, shoot, it came out. Only like this echo, da 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 da, you're done. Right, you know, and but, still has made a few yes. better ones than yeah. what they used to have. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Red Max uh, was watching one of the guys at the shop, and uh, their speed, their uh, line trimmer, you can do it, but nothing is as easy as a speed feed. Yep. I mean, it's just we agree on that. Um, the guys, this video, we're just kind of talking a little bit. He has things that are different than mine, and the truth behind the scenes. Um, we even had the talk about, hey Dell, do you really use red armor all day long? Well, I posted a video. Post a picture. <laughs> and a picture. And what you see right there is Red Max. I get Red Max for $2 for the 2.5 gallon mix. Yes, I like the red armor. I think it's a great product. But for the price, it's not business smart, smart for me. Um, I didn't really notice that huge of a difference running the Red Armor versus running Red Max. So if I can get this for half price, that's what I'm going to run. Um, you know, people ask me, well, you used to run AMS oil. Well, I didn't used to run it. I ran it a few times. I don't mind using it. I still have some here that I use. But also, just last week from Weingarts, I bought four cases of Kawasaki. You know, dealer support, what they have in stock, and price point. Yep. You um you were talking about uh, asking me what I like. What what do you prefer with uh, mixed gas? So I personally like the red. I mean the Echo Red Armor, but okay. that's just because I like how it ran my engines and it changes your engines. So back on like engine oils and like you run what I run. So 
when I first started, or just last year, before I ran Echo Red Armor, I ran steel HP in the orange bottle, the Ultra. Mm -hmm. So I ran that in everything. I had that in one of my weed lifts. Guess what? It didn't want to fire. Didn't want to work. So I'm like, what the hell? So I was going to take it to the dealer and have them look at it. But I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'll figure it out by myself. So I poured that gas out of the tank, put Echo, you know, all, whatever Red Armor or Ultra or whatever you want to call it, mix in there, fire it right up. So then again, is Echo and steel oil made for the same equipment. If you use echo and the echo and steel and steel or echo to steel or steel to echo, is it gonna mess with him? Like I wanna upgrade my backpack blower. I asked his, his personal plan. I'm like, okay, I'm either upgrading to the 770T by echo or the BR600 just because it's light, it's got great power, but the fuel capacity. Because if you watch Ambrose's YouTube video and, he watch, and you look at the comparison, you could tell how much fuel you have in a backpack blower by Echo. Steel, you can kind of can't tell. But then again, I like how steel has everything covered. Their air filter is covered completely. Spark plug, covered completely. Fuel filter, of course, can be covered because it's in a tank. But then again, you got like easy tool accessibility to get an air filter, to get the spark plug, to get the fuel filter, everything right there. You don't have to go in your toolbox, grab a torque bit, screw, and undo this, undo that. So easy maintenance, in my opinion. Yeah, it's another point. When you're doing your echo, you only need a few pieces of uh, yep. the spark plug to get it out. You can just use your hand to get the filter. With steel, you got to use the tool, yep. take the screw out, yep. takes more time. Yep. Um, and it's in the blower there, guys, uh, it's going to be a long video. Me, personally, I have the BR600. I like it. But if I, I'm going to buy, which I'm looking at two new blowers, but i really having a hard time. I think the 8010 Echo yeah. has a lot of power yes. and it's pretty light, yes. but I also like the steel BR800 with the side start, you know, to make it easy. So guys, you know, in the comments below, what blower would you buy? Because I have to buy at least two of those this season and I don't know if I want to go with Echo or if I want to go with steel. And for me, it's not about price, it's yeah. about, you know, the product. best product yeah. for the business. Um, so like real quick on that subject that you're talking, I mean, I looked at the VR 800 in person. I didn't like it so much because of all the straps, the seat. I mean, yeah, it's cool for a side serve, a customer talks to you, but for all those straps, you got one here, one here, one there. That's a lot. Great point. But you look at the comparison in fuel, you look at this, like everything in the, just the little things about the details. But like for everyday use, I've read reviews, and everybody's saying the VR 800 is a good blower, but for everyday use, the Echo, don't use it because it's got plenty of power. It's got too much power just for leaf cleanups. That's the route to go. But it's all about person, like personal opinion. How much dealer support can they give you? If something breaks, how fast can they give it to you? Like mowers, if something goes wrong with a mower, I know Gravely does this. Like if something goes wrong with your mower, you and if it's not fixed within an hour, they give you a mower. Right, yeah, I, I think Xmart did. Yeah, Xmart yeah. does that too. Um, I have their zero downtime yep. program, so um, if it's not fixed, and a lot of times they'll look at it um, and they'll determine, and they don't even waste my hour if they know it's going to take more yep. hour. They whip one around the corner and send me on my way. Yeah, that's one thing about dealer support that I really like that I really want to get into. So for my next mower purchase, that will probably be, I'm going to do zero downtime. But for the ones that I cut, aren't huge, aren't too small. They're all green yards. I do about 23 houses. Well, yeah, 23 houses, almost about 30 houses by myself. I don't want to hire anybody. Should I? Yeah, but do they want to weed with? No. I just want to mow. It's yeah, like- Nobody wants to weed with. No, nobody. You tell them the edge, oh, I don't want to do it. You want to mow? Sure. It's like, I don't know, now I got to go weed with. Now I got to go do the ground work. But then again, I don't mind it because it's me. Yeah, I, now that's another point. We're talking about dealer support here, guys. Is I put a Facebook ad hiring guys for $15 an hour to run a Wii Whip. Mm -hmm. And I had three guys that had contacted me. And, uh, you know, that brought me to my next point. After I was thinking about hiring these guys, hey, I want a background check. I'm going to find out these guys have a longer criminal record than anybody that I personally know. So I, I didn't hire any of them. Yeah. Um, I have to think about my uh, customers, you know, I don't want to be bringing in 
you know, Sorry, criminals yeah. without license. They don't have a license. And, and you, pick them you up, know, yeah. you got sex offenders and you got B&Es and you've been to prison. Yeah. And, you know, uh, that's a whole nother video right there. Yeah. That, uh, but I agree people, yeah. $15 an hour and I can only yeah. get three emails that people want a job. Yeah. You know, all investments each year. I'm buying mowers. I'm buying, you know, stuff for my trailer. Like I just bought a 5 by 12 trailer. I started with a 5 by 4 and I, now I'm at a 5 by 12 so guys, you hear that where not everything is picture perfect like you see on social media. So, And I always said that social media make you go broke. I see all the stuff people buy and that, and I would like to have that. Where young man here is just like I was 12 years ago. I started with my first weed whacker. Um, in fact, we were putting a weed whacker and a mower in the truck mm -hmm. and uh, taking it out and push mowing, you know. Yeah. Um, so kind of shared his story there where you got to start somewhere and he, he didn't finance so but he's still doing it and he's still building and still going more we're gonna have another video posted from today we're gonna do some tune-ups but this was just regular shop talk um, to bring it up from his point of view my point of view and uh, we're just kind of enjoying the day here thanks for watching and as always have a marvelous day don't forget, if you have Instagram, go check out his Instagram. I'll leave his name on the bottom so you can follow him as well.